After the backwash, you settle your client on a comfortable chair and you remove the towel. You put it aside, you prepare your blow dry, the two attachments that you're going to use while doing the while use while blow drying. So we are going to start with the detangler. Once you've attached your detangler, you make sure that you use moderate heat. You turn them on. You start from the tips of the hair. The reason why we do that is because we want to detangle the ones which are uh, the ones which are tangled up, so that it keeps the hair soft. Then from there we continue with our blow dry. Once you've detangled the tips of the hair, always make sure when you're holding your, when you're holding the hair, you try and hold it with your hands so that you don't experience any hair breakage and also the client does not feel any pain while you're pulling. Once the hair is straightened up, then we can go on with blow drying at the root of the hair. Once you've detangled the hair, you try as much as possible to make the hair dry from the, from the root itself, now from the scalp. Then from there, when you want, since our client here, she has uh, a lot of hair, coarse hair, that means whenever you're blow drying, at least try to part the hair in two or four so that the heat can go way to the sides. Once you've sectioned the hair into two, it gives, it makes it easier for the hair to dry faster for you. So as soon as you're done parting the hair into two, you go from the back part, then you try as much as possible not to lift your blow dry, not to put your blow dry di direct on the client's scalp, but try to lift the blow dry up instead so that it doesn't, the heat does not have to go to the client's scalp. Try holding the hair so that if there's any place where the blow dry cannot uh, detangle, your hands will be there to, ass to assist you. You check the whole head. Try to check with your fingertips. If there is still wet hair, try as much as possible to keep on blow drying the hair so that it dries up. Remember, don't give direct heat. Lift your blow dry up. It happens a lot when the blow dry sometimes gets stuck. So whenever it gets stuck like this, try to detangle with your fingers. Once you're done by drying the hair, we exchange. We take our nose on, make sure you place it well. Then you take your wide tooth comb and you start. First you pick, you take your comb and you pick the hair from the root coming up before you start blow drying make sure you give it make sure you give it a, a, a small space and don't give it direct heat from down just lift your comb up and put your blow dry looking upwards again you part your hair into two And you continue. Once you're done with the drying, now we take another step. We take the uh, hair food. You just take a little amount of hair food. The, ha the hair food helps the hair uh, to soften up and also it gives it that moisture. So try to make sure you don't put too much of it. I'm going to use my tail comb whereby I'll have to section the hair from behind. Just pick a little bit and rub. Section just a little bit. The reason why we do it sectionally it's because we want it to penetrate well on the scalp 
so that it doesn't have to mold itself on the hair. Now with the sectioning, you don't have to make it formal by using uh, the kind of lines that you section. You can just give it any size, so long as you put your oil just a little bit on the scalp. Now the amount left on your hand, you don't have to put it back on your hair for thin. You can just rub it on your hands. And try massage with the, with the little amount of hair food left. Now by massaging, remember while we were sectioning, it didn't go to some of the parts, on some of the parts. So what you do by massaging, it helps you also to penetrate all over the scalp. Then our final step, we take our blow dry and we continue blow drying. Once we're done with the wide tooth comb, we exchange and we use our tail comb. Why? This one, most of the time we use it on the hairline because as you can see, the wide tooth couldn't get uh, straight to the hairline and also at the root. So we're going to blow dry the hairline with the telecom. While you're on the hairline, try to make sure that the heat does not get on the client's scalp. Try as much as possible to lift your comb, like I said earlier, lift your comb and lift the nose on up, going upwards. Your comb going upwards. When it comes to the ears, try as much as possible not to bring the nose on close to the ear, but way up. Once you're done, you comb your client's hair according to the desired style. You're going to make a simple style. Now remember, blow drying is like a temporarily pumped hair. So it's easier for the client to manage to comb and also keep the style for long. Once you're done, you take the client, you take the towel out and your client is good to go. Thank you.